Hey, Fixie here. Back at the game with another one. More work on Krusty. Had to uh, straighten all the section up here. Working on getting this front glued up now because I want to get the chassis put in it. Uh, so I had to figure out what I was going to do here. Cat the ends of it. Inside here, I got a firewall going through the middle of this. This was an open panel. And she was pretty rusty up here. As you can see, the rust on the floor there. And what I've cut out of the, of the car again. But I made a bunch of panels for it. Put them all in there and uh, I basically spot welded everything in, dressed everything right nice so everything looks like a factory style seam and everything on it. So uh, I'm going to show you now how I made all them. Stick around. So last video we finished off the other rocker, got that all clued up, so now we're moving on to the front section here. I wanted to get this section done here first before I put the front frame in it, for the simple fact that it's going to be awkward to get in around here. Now, I looked at it, I sized it all up and I noticed that this lip here was like close to the tire and is a straight edge. I want to eliminate that, so I'm going to cut that off. Uh, in here, where the firewall is going to come across, i got to plate this over, cover this section in here, so I'm going to do that. I gotta tidy up the bottom section. I have one rust hole down here to deal with that I got to uh, fix. So I gotta fix that. And up here, I want to tidy this up so it comes in around the corner nicer. Uh, I'm leaving the factory hood hinges on it, so I need to trim this up in and around here and down through here on both sides. Get that trimmed up and get rid of this plate. I'm not gonna touch none of this up here yet. Uh, this section here, I'm just gonna leave that there for strength. I'll trim that when it goes to firewall. Uh, these here, I'm going to eliminate them, so we'll probably get the chance to uh, do a cotton butt on those. I'm going to keep the wipers. I have some rust repair to do here, so I'm going to clean all this upper place off. And I'm going to have to haul that windshield out to do this, because I have some repairs over here to do. I don't know how far we're going to get on this video with all this, because it's a fair bit. Like, this one is really bad. I don't know what it's like in behind here and in here, see? So, i got to repair that. But I figured I'd get all this done first where I can walk and just walk right up to it and walk around and get it all done. Because once the two rails sticks out through here with the Z and the front suspension and everything in it, it's going to be tangly getting around there, right? So I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to start trimming all this stuff up, get rid of everything that's out of the way, cut it back, uh, get it to a point where I say, okay, now it's time to start welding. So I'm not going to bore you with all the cutting. So I'm just going to get everything and start chopping. That's an hour's worth of work right there. <laughs> I just went and started cutting stuff out and uh, I just kept going till I, you know, come up with ideas. I never cut it all at once because there was a ledge right here that went in across here. You've probably seen that uh, or remembered it and it went right in through. But all that was rusted out. So I just started trimming things up and sizing things up and as I went. And uh, the more I, I could see, the ideas come in my head of how I was going to rebuild this thing, right? And there was a lip going right down through here. There was a hole right here. There was a hole right here. So all that there was gone, so it had to be replaced. Now, I'm not looking to restore this, okay? This is uh, a race car. So basically, or street strip car. I want to make that clear to everybody. Eventually, this will be going on the street. Um, what, I, what you got to realize is because of that, I don't have to restore this back to original. So I need to find a way to make this presentable look and look nice and functional now the thing with it is i can actually cut that off i want to but there's a problem my firewall runs about right here when we figured it out at the game which comes right down through the middle of this unit right so i can't cut that off so what i'm going to do is i'm going to cap the inside of it on the inside here and i'm going to cap the front of this here to come around flow into this here and it will spot well down across here so it look like a factory style piece I'm going to try to make it look, and that's just going to weld everything up and make it look like it's a, a, a conglomerate of welded pieces. I'm going to try to do it so it almost has a factory style uh, look to it. Um, I hauled the windshield out of it. All I did is uh, I actually cut the rubber. As you know, I went and uh, had to go look for a rubber online. You guys point me in the right direction, and I found window rubbers because I knew this. Uh, it was going to be very hard to get out and I, all I did is I just cut the inside lip right here on the rubber and just cut it off 
and just push the window out to the, the inside because I didn't like this rubber went along here like so they held it, held it on the pinch well flange and I just cut that off and then uh, to remove the window but what's interesting is over here first of all you can see the way this is all rusted out here and then it gets up here it just stops huh? from here in it's perfect okay all even over here look. I figured this was all gonna be gone in here but it's not but well here in the middle there's a hole there look. <laughs> What a strange car for rusting out, I can tell you that. I've dealt with a lot of rust over the years, and this car got the most oddest style of rust I've ever seen in my life. Like, I still got to repair this section here, which is no big deal. But now that I got the window out of it, I can go up here and do a tidier job on it and whatnot, right? But what I'm going to do here next now, and I'm going to take the grinder now with 24 grit, and I'm going to go around and clean all this up and get this all prepped so I can uh, start making up pieces to put in there. Okay, so I got it all cleaned up down here. And I got it all trimmed back. Um, I got this. I have, I'm going to cut more of this out. I'm not going to get into none of this right yet. Uh, I have a game plan in place for everything now. As I was cleaning it all up, I'm going to go through it all. I got this side cleaned up as well. Same, much the same way. Um, I went and straightened up my edges so they lined up. Got these rolls so they lined up down here. And a roll off this bottom edge here. I must leave this section here for the factory hood hinges. And uh, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to come over here. I'm going to make a patch for this section down right here. So that's the, my first uh, what I'm going to do. I'm not going to explain too far into what I got in my mind. I'm going to take you step by step through what I'm doing. So first things we're going to do is we're going to patch up that there. I got the piece of metal all cleaned up. All I got now is I got the piece of metal that I cut out of it. I got laid on. I got it left a little bit long, about a half an inch all the way around. And I'm going to trim it off. I'm not going to worry about it in here yet. I'll trim that off after for the fact when it's on the car. So I'm going to do a little lap well on this here. It looked tight. It's on a rolled edge. I wouldn't recommend doing it in the middle of a panel. Um, but on rolled edges, it's a lot easier to blend it. And it uh, works out a lot easier. That's one of the main reasons why I'm doing it. If this was on a flat panel, i do a cotton bud on it. So I'm going to trim this up here now. And uh, do the next step on that and roll these edges. All I'm going to do here now is roll the edge. I'm on LT Dolly. Work my way around it. All I'm going to do is start down here and weld across here, and I'm going to work my way around the panel, shaking it as I'm going to weld it in place. And it's just a simple little overlap. Don't be concerned about anything sticking out. There's a crown on the panel, so it's going to be easy to control heat. That's it. I'll just go back down. I'll weld up a few spots I missed there, and I'll just grind that off. I'll show you what it looks like when it's grinded off. And there it is, all grinded up. Don't look that bad. You can see a little tiny bit there, but because of the way it's shaped, it comes down, and the way it rolls around, you can blend it into the rolled edge, right? So it's pretty good. So now I'm just going to cut this one off. Again, I'm going to get ready to move on to the next piece. Got that trimmed off. So now it looks good going down across here. 
The next piece I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a filler piece here. I was gonna go right to the top, but I'm trying to have this overlapped here and I'm putting on spot well and not across here, so I might as well figure I'd go right on in here with spot wells as well, just to make it look like a piece that was welded onto it. So uh, I'm always and forever changing my game plan here today. I'm always continuously thinking uh, of different ways to do this. I had other ideas. I'm not gonna get into them because I'm just gonna tell you my final idea what I'm gonna do. But what I'm gonna do here now is I'm gonna cut a piece from this length here and this width here that I can just lay on over that there to fit it. It'll be spot welded in down along through here, down along the bottom here. And then I'm gonna put a lip on it and I'm gonna spot weld it in through this way here. I'm going to, I'm not one for solid welding, running beads on pieces of metal uh, to hold it in place. If I'm gonna put it in like a panel, it's gonna look like a panel when it's done. So I'm gonna go ahead now and cut out a piece that size and trim it up. So here's what I got. I cut a piece out that was longer and it was wider and I fit it in place so it overlapped up here and it's overlapped about a half an inch right down through this panel here on the inner stru structure here and also on the rocker because that's where it will be spot welded up along here going along here and then I just had to stick out as far as I possibly can. I marked it right here because I'm going to cut that off straight there. Then I come over here as you can see I mark it along there. I never cleaned none of this up yet because I wants to make two of them first. I'm going to trim this one up now and get this one where I likes it and then I'm going to uh, fit it over here and see how it looks and then I'll cut out a second one. Uh, this white coating that's on these I haven't stripped it off yet. Uh, my plan is for this car, I got to strip this side off because I got our panels put on. I'm not going to strip the other side, I'm going to use it like a, a coating to leave on it. Uh, I'm just going to strip it around the edges and leave the middle. On it. Uh, if I go stripping all the panels, because I plan on building the entire floor section with this stuff, and if I strip all the panels, it's a lot of work, and this got a real nice finish on it. I've after bending it and putting it through its paces already, it finds that this stuff is pretty durable. So I'll just clean this side off, I'll leave the other side alone. Now it'd be nice if you had a set of bevel shears to cut this out, but we don't have bevel shears, so we're just going to use the grinder. You don't cut it like you regularly, I usually do, like cut through. I'm going to cut this on the top, shape it down through. All I'm doing is using the, just the weight of the grinder, walking along her. Once I get the track made, I just make sure I stay in the track and just, I don't add no pressure to it, very little pressure, and just goes along a couple and you end up getting a good cut out of it. That fits pretty good, just minor adjustments. Trim it back so it fits it behind it. It's brought up against it now. I'm going to put a lip on this here on the inside now as well, so I can plug weld it in through here. Uh, I took it off then and I brought it over here and I fit it in place. I could make a second one from that one. So I'm going to go ahead first before it does anything else with this one here. I'm going to take this here and cut another one out. Okay, I got that all fit in place. I got it trimmed up and fit it so closely behind it. Going down along there and everything. I got to trim off the bottom of this side a bit. And I went ahead and I made the second one. And I trimmed that up, got that fitting, grinded that off, got that so it fits in behind it. So now I got two of them panels ready. I'm going to take them off and put a lip down along here on this front panel so I can spot weld the front of this on. It looked tidy looking then. So I went ahead on the inside, I cleaned up the uh, inner edge of it just back far enough. I don't need to go right to the bottom here because this is the rocker lip here. So uh, I got to come up about an inch or so and then put the lip on it there. And I'm going to put that along there. Now you always see me holding on, I talk about holding on to stuff over here. Look. I have two pieces here that are going to work perfect for that. 
it's just scraps that cuts off and I don't like throwing them out. So I'm going to run that along there, weld it on all the way up through there. Weld it on, dress the outside of it, and then that panel will be ready to be put in. I'm going to keep it nice and straight. Uh, there's a bit of a curvature in the outer panel. I'm not concerned about it uh, right here. There is a bit of a curvature here. I'm not going to get into it. Uh, I'm going to leave that straight. The reason why I want to leave this panel nice and flat and straight is because the firewall is going to come meet it and I'm going to be putting lip on it and I would like to have a nice flat surface for that to mount to to get a nice ceiling up on the, the actual corners of the firewall. So I'm going to leave this flat here, weld this on along here and uh, dress it all up. There it is, all grinded up. Uh, this is 18 gauge metal. I'm welding this with uh, 023 wire and CO2 gas. I got it welded on the inside as well. You've seen me do this a number of times in other videos. I do this just to make panels. Now I have a nice little panel that I can install in it. I went ahead and I plugged some holes in it. So it can be spot welded on the inside. Let's test fit this now. Here it is fit in place. You see where it'll be spot welded on down through here. On the existing panel. I got to work that there a bit more. Down across the rocker. And then it'll be spot welded up across the front here. So I'm happy with that. I'm gonna haul that off there now and paint the inside of the, of the door post and everything. Get some paint and everything in there and, and then that's ready to install. So I got everything there painted. I put a pile of paint in there. We head out of the way. And filled it up down to the rocker and everything. And uh, painted it all on the back side. And where I put the patch and everything in it. Then I took the panel here. Then I put it in. And I painted it all where I was going to uh, where I welded it. And then I painted where the lip is too. And while I was waiting for that to dry, I went ahead and I uh, went and put the lip on the other one. Grind it up, dress it up, and fit it on the car. So that one now is ready to go. I'll take that one off and paint it inside. And when that's drying, I'm gonna go weld this one in. And there it is all dressed up. Looks a lot tidier. So it's solid there now. So that's that with section done. And I went ahead and done that. And I come over here and I went and finished off this side too. I spot welded that all in, got that all welded in. So now I got the bottom section finished on both sides. I'm doing this now each side at a time because I'm trying to duplicate each piece. Uh, and in cases like this, sometimes you may have to do a whole bunch of stuff and you just go and do one complete side. When you go over to the other side, you're trying to remember what you did over here. So as I'm stepping up, it's like I did the inside here and the inside here. And now I'm going to go up and do the inside here. And I'll come over here and I'll do the inside here. So basically, I'll be building two of these at the same time just so I can chase after the, um, the each angles and stuff like that and where I'm bending stuff to. Because when he gets out around, he starts putting other bends on other things. He starts confusing bends and whatnot. So that's just my little game plan I got going on here with this. And like I'm just doing this on the fly. I have no real set... Uh, plan here. I've sat down and thought about this a lot and all I'm doing is I got to start bending up metal I get a, a simple little idea and I just go from that and then I just add to it and add to it and add to it Till I think I'm on the right track with it um, So that's what I'm at with that. Uh, I just grinded this all off with a uh, 24 grit disc uh, A few of you've asked me about this all Ingersoll ran uh, That's all I can tell you. There's no part number on it but you want to contact them, 17A, high speed air sander, maximum 90 PSI, 8,000 RPM. Right. Well, it's just uh, like there's no real, there's an actual, you know, I don't know if that's I outdated now or not. It's all ran. Dot com, yeah, dot com. So, you know, I might be able to find that tool through them. Uh, a few of you have asked me about that one. 
But anyway, I'm going to go ahead now, and I'm going to work on getting this set up up here. I'm going to bend up a piece now to come down here, tip in, and I'm going to spot weld it across here. My plan is to have this top section here overlapped, and it's going to be make it look like one piece, and uh, basically spot weld it on across here and up through there. And then in through here, I'll just do, uh, I'll overlap a weld in here, and I'll butt weld it down here, so... Let's take a piece of steel and I'll clean it up and see what I can come up with. Okay, I went ahead and I measured it up and I come up with uh, 7 by 12. Uh, a little bit bigger, a little bit wider, so I think it was. And I think it might be a bit smaller now. I went ahead and I just threw measurements over here because i got to cut a second piece out. So I'll remember for next time. Then I went and took an old scrap piece of steel. This is really slight stuff. Just had all these set around. I made up a little template. And bent it up the shape that I wanted and figured out that's you know where I wanted to go and played around with it a bit. I finally got it that I was happy there. So now that I know that I know my measurements to my angles. So I went ahead and I marked them out. And then I went and marked them. So if I had to bend them on the opposite sides, they'd be there, right? You can see the mark there and the mark there. Not very good there. I can see it, but there and there. So I'm gonna go over the break now and just bend this up to make it look like that. And then I'm going to do a test fit on it. i got to trim up the front side here and get it to fit in the back side. So it's got to be cut like this here. So I'll go ahead and get all that done and get it close to where I think it's fitting. Now, haven't I been busy? That is the piece I got made up on the bottom side. I just made it as I went. Designed it as I went. Just added things to it. Uh, I came back here, put this bend in here first. And got it fit. And then I had to cut this corner out of it here. And uh, then I had to uh, trim off the back side and make up this piece here. Uh, this uh, wasn't, uh, you know, straightforward and simple because I did fool up the back side here at one point. Uh, I made this panel and made the back side, this piece here, which went along here, as you can see, is too short. I made that, and then I had to make another piece to mount up here on the car itself. And when I done that, when I got that piece welded in, this didn't work, so I had to cut this out of this here and uh, like cut that piece out of it make up a new one and weld it back in again so you know it's only metal cut it up if it don't fit make it fit right i want to have a nice laid edge on here and what was happening as you can see this is what was going on this here wouldn't met down here so i could have caught it put a piece in there no start off all over again make a whole new piece right it's a lot easier to do it um the whole construction is made up of three pieces I got them cut out here now, ready to go. Uh, they're a lot bigger. This piece here is this piece. This piece is this piece back here. I know it's a lot of material, but uh, I wanted to have something there left there because I had that piece underneath the bench to clean it up for. And then this is the piece that's on the car, and I'll show you what I, what I made up for that. That was only a simple 90 degree bend with a little roll off the back of it. Up here, you can see it right here, this piece here. And that just rolls back and welds onto the post. The problem is I got nothing up here capped in. So I had to run a piece to cap up. Now I gotta replace this section up here on the outside. Right there. When I get at that, then I can uh, finish this off in here and weld that on up there. I can get at it better up there. But I left it a bit longer because these were a bit short. I'm gonna spot weld across here. And then this will be seam sealed down through here. And I went and cut it for like a butt weld along here. So it'll look nice to the firewall, basically back to the firewall. You won't see none of this back here. It'll be only spot welded on seam seal. I just wanted this here. This is a spot you'll see when you look underneath the hood. But if you look at it over here, you can see what I'm up against. You can see the piece goes over. All oh, this was rusted out. This side is worse than the other side. I got a lot more work to do on this side and the outside. But I got to make up the piece across here and close this in before I can turn around and make the cap section to go on it. So I'm going to go ahead and weld this one on. Um, this piece of metal here is for that and I just got to bend it up and I'll, I'll just do quick shots of each piece as I'm going along there's a few little tricks that I done that I uh, figured you might like so I'm going to follow through with them and show you them and I'm going to go ahead and weld this one in and then get started on the other one and there I have it all welded in the spot welded down along here up along the back side here along here, along here and then a the solid welded in through here and the bead just kind of like fades out into it and you can actually see where it ended and I cut through there and I welded that solid there so out here is what you're going to see when you're looking in you're going to see this section here right? so that's what it looks like when it's all put in place and welded up 
So all I'll do now when I come back, uh, when I get the firewall and we put it all seam seal, all these sections here, up top and all that type of stuff, seam seal down through here, I'll seam seal out here. Um, I had a trick to doing see seam sealer. You won't really see the seam sealer. Um, I put it on really, really thin, so it just fills up the gap. Uh, I don't like globs of seam sealer, but we'll get into that down the road. <laughs> But I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to start bending up all the other one and I'm going to just take you along and show you all the bends, the cuts and how I made some bends and stuff like that uh, to make the piece for the other side.
there you have it the other side's finished once I got the process figured out on the other side it was straightforward and I knew what I had to do what bends to make and stuff like that you see me make that little roll up on the top side where I bent it the vise and then I welded it up and dressed it so it had a real nice roll off the end of it uh, you see the way I made this back section here um, I welded it on after because of the angle and everything was on and then I rounded out the corners and you know done the spot wells I put a little bead showed how I done the bead and the vise to roll that off get that done I got that all dressed up here now and spot welded around the back side so that's it for that. So I got the complete inside completed now. You can probably see holes and everything up here, but I'm gonna get that from the outside uh, when it does the cowl. So we're gonna work our way now to the outside. So here's what we're up against. I've had to clean up a bit, there's a few pits and everything up here. So I'm thinking about replacing this entire top section up as far as this lip here, coming down here, and then having this come down, tucking around here. And come down around here, tuck around that, and come around the front and join onto this lip here, and, and spot weld it across here, so it looks like a panel that's been put in it. And then I'm going to roll the front around like this here with a little roll edge on it. One thing I want to do, I want to put a piece of plate in here to the front because I intend to mount uh, a brace going out to the front so the fenders can bolt onto that brace. And I want somewhere to mount it, so I think before I close this in, I'll put something here, a piece of angle iron or something there. That I can actually um, bolt something to. So we're going to cut out a piece of steel now. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make the piece to go over it and uh, try to figure out what I'm going to do because I'm eventually going to remove all this. I left all this here for structural strength. So uh, I'm going to leave that there now so I can get the shapes and everything on it. And I'll just make a piece that'll rough over the top of it for now. Okay, cut out a piece, too wide, too long. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the feet down along here better. I'm gonna mark over here, just an idea where I want to overlap to. Roughly do that with it. Yeah, then I'll just go trim that off. Now, I went ahead and I cut the piece out, and then I trimmed up the circle section, and then I got two indentations. This is where the hinge is to, and there's a body line that goes here, a bead. So I trimmed two of them out so she fit where I wanted her to fit. I still had to trim some of this up and trim some of this up after the fact because it's probably still a little bit too long. But I got this fitting on the car now where I'm close. So what I went did then is I went over here and I marked out the second one. I test fit this on the other side, so I went in, in the ballpark of where it's to, so I went, drew this out so I knew exactly where the marks were to on each one. So when it comes back now, I can actually just trim this out and I'll have a second one ready to go. But we're going to go ahead now and uh, continue on with fitting this on it. Because once I get so far with this, uh, I'm not going to be able to use it for like a template. 
Well, it's because I got to put a curve in this now, I got to bend the top up. So I figure once I get this rough shape in place, I'm going to go over now and find a couple places that I can drill and click out this in place so that I, everything will return to its you know, the same place each time. And then I'll just start trimming and fitting and bending and whatever. So here I got a fit in place, okay? And you can see here, it fits around the hinge and around the bead. And I went and put two clicos in it. This overlaps this panel a good bit, as you can see over here. See how much it overlaps, okay? Now that I got that fit in place, and I'm happy with this section here, if you look in here, it's a bit longer, okay? I'll have to trim that up after, after the fact, same as before. They don't make it too big. But what I need to figure out now is I got a shape here, it's gonna be a bend right here, and, and it's gonna come up to meet this section here because I'm gonna cut this off. And then it's going to come to about right here somewhere, and then it's going to roll. Then it's going to roll around the front. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to mark it up here, find out where the roll is going to start, find out where the top of this roll is too, and I'm going to mark this here and cut a section out of here. But I'm not going to cut it perfect. I'm going to leave it so it's a little bit high, so I got lots of room to overlap. But I want to get this corner out of the way here so I can concentrate on where this got to be bent to. Now what I went and did then is. I have this point back here and this point back here is a bend. Now there's a turn in this one here because this is lower here. If you look at it this way here, just a small bit. I'm going to eliminate this because it's just too much work to get that like that because I'm making my own setup. But anyway, all I did was I took a straight edge, marked from there, down along there. You can see where the markers too, okay? And I marked that. Then I come over here and I put this in place and I transferred it onto this panel here. So now I'm going to go bend right on that line there. So now you can see I got the bend put in it and it goes over. Now it's still too long here and it's kicked up. I clamped it on over here and you can see it's lining up pretty good on that. And I got to clamp down down here again. So I went and did there. Then is I marked it because I don't know where this is to here. Okay. So I know it's too long so I just went down through here and I marked it onto the body of the car. And those where the end is too. So what I'll do is when I let this go, now I can see roughly the angle that is on that's coming down through here. You can see the, the angle that I got to cut that on through there. And now from there, I'll mark back to here and just cut it on a straight angle up here. And I'll come down this way on an angle to meet down here somewhere so I can trim that up nice. So you can see I got a mark on this and if you look at it, you see I transferred this shape here, this line here, from this here over onto this here. Uh, the distance from here to the line that I drew, I measured back to here and marked it. Then I just drew a little parallel line to come down and you can see it just comes straight down through here and just continues on straight. So I'm just going to take this now and trim that off. Now all I did is I went up to the top edge up here. And where this turns over and goes flat, that's where I'm going to join it to. So I marked it there, and I drew a straight line from there to the outer edge, and I'll cut it off. And that's where I'm going to join this panel to the car itself. So I'll trim that off, and when that's done, then I can start moving on to the front. Now I went ahead, and I got to fit in place, and I marked it up here. What I'm going to do is everything in behind this, now I'm going to remove it because it's in the way. Before it does the roll, I get rid of all that stuff inside there. I'll show you. I'll cut all that off, clean all that off, get this fit nicer. But if you see here, I'm going to get rid of all this now, to clear this. I'm not going to worry about this bead. Uh, There's a bit of work involved and it's not going to be generic or anything. Fender's covering it. I'm just trying to get a nice shape to it all, make it look good. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to come up here, just come down below that line there now, cut that off, remove all this, get rid of these here, get this piece out of the way. Okay, I got it all cleaned up up through here. The piece was over that. There's a heavy brace in here as well. I'll leave that there. It's a nice heavy piece. So. That came up and I trimmed it all up along here. I could trim this after the fact, now later on. I come up here and I started to trim off this front. This had an L brace on it that you were supposed to spot well to it. And I come here with the grinder, you can see I come down through it. I hit it perfectly and I cut it off the lip. <laughs> I'm going to have to put a new lip on it. That's fine. <laughs> but, you know, I was trying to cut behind the panel just a little bit so that I could trim up this here with the cotton wheel. And then uh, I, cut it, I cut it absolutely perfect. Look. Right on now, through there I got it. <laughs> anyway, so now that I got that done, I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Next thing I'm gonna worry about is putting the roll on this here. Okay? I know where the roll's gotta go from here, and I marked it down to where this is too. So this has gotta start to roll around. So I'm gonna go over the pipe bevel now and do that. 
I don't know how I ever done without this. I use this a lot. I only made this last year. And uh, I'm amazed that I went all these years without one. I find it fantastic for this stuff. I'll just keep rolling this bit by bit. And I'll go over and I'll test it. See what it's like. You see there now. I'll go and test that now. And I'll come back and tweak it a bit more if I need be. Okay. A couple of rolls on. You can see it's pretty well there now. I just got to pull it in a bit tighter. I can work my way around as I'm welding it. And uh, I noticed something when I went at this here. And I started to pull it in. If you look at it, it doesn't come up straight. It rolls in on the top. And that's the way that panel is designed. Because up along here, that bead is where it was too, see? And this is what you end up happening. Now, like, you know, I should have left it a little bit long if I was thinking about it, if I hadn't known this. But when you let this go and go out straight, my line was in the right location. It's just that all this here was out. Now, I can go back in here and probably change some of this or something. But this here still has to come in to this point here. Okay? So, I just assume, bring that in to where I had it. Like so. And I'll just put a piece in here. That's no big deal. Uh, I'm human. Now down here on the bottom, because this is like this on the top, it's also like on the bottom. So I got to come here and do a straight line along here and I'll cut it off so that it lines up with this, this one here. Okay? So I'm going to trim that up there. Trim this up roughly. I'm not going to cut it all off, but I'm going to get a rough cut of where this is going. And then uh, get this set up so I can start welding together. So I got this trimmed up along here, cut it on an angle. And I got it so it lines up pretty good with this here. It's still a little bit longer, which is okay, because I'm going to grind that to fit to all that. So I can weld that edge right up along there. I'm going to put a little reinforcement on the inside of that to give us something for the tomb to weld to. And I got that done. So now what all I got left to do is I got to let this piece up here. Hmm. Oh, look at that there on the floor. Oh, scrap piece of steel. I trimmed off it earlier. I'll just come over here now and I'll just doop, put that on there and weld it on there. I throw nothing away. Doesn't that look wonderful? I'll weld that on the inside now and I'll grind it off and then I'll trim it to face. And there you go. Brand new. Another crisis averted. <laughs> now that I got that straightened away and I got it all to the point now where I'm happy where it's going to go and I can start plugging holes and stuff like that. I gotta work on this inside piece now to get it ready. I gotta put a lip in here and also the plan I got here is as you remember the fender bolts on right here and then it'll bolt down up in front on the red support. But I wanna run a brace from here up to the red support to put the fender for something for the fender to hold up on because I know it's leaning over the fender you're gonna end up uh, bending it up and everything because there's gonna be nothing from here to the red support. So I'm gonna put a plating system in here that I can drill and tap, that I can put a bracket into here that'll run probably like a piece of uh, like one inch angle iron or something like that forward uh, and uh, I might make something for it, I don't know but I'll have something that'll bolt on here because uh, it'd be nice to be able to have this car one thing I want to have with it, I like to have it so that all the sheet metal on the front of it can be easily removed so if I'm doing some like major tear downs on it uh, to do work on it, it'll be a lot easier to work on the car with the entire front off the car so uh, I'm going to make a little plating system now to put in there. Okay, I went ahead and I uh, welded the tab back on there. I got that welded on inside now. So that's welded on so now I can plug well onto that. And I cut this out here, made up this little piece. It's a piece of 3 16 And what I'm going to do is I'll weld that right into the corner there. So when it comes time for me to do the fender extension, all I got to do is drill a hole in through here and I can tap it. Probably a couple of them or something like that because I can probably put two bolts into that there and I can tap this here plate that will bolt on to the body car and this will be encapsulated in behind the panel and you won't see it. All I got that from is this is an old piece of rusty 3 angle iron I had kicking around. I cut the corner off it, cleaned it up and now that piece will be going right in there. So I'm going to get that welded in there now. And I went ahead and I welded that plate in there. I welded it on the outside edge and I also welded it on the inside. Also what I went and did is I added these little tiny tabs here. I can weld them on the inside here, see? And same with down here. All this is here is to give strength on this corner. So when I weld this corner on the outside edge, 
I can do a nice job of welding up or grinding up and dressing this edge to make this look nice. If it was just this metal and this metal, I'd probably end up grinding through it. But now that I got this here back welded here and back welded on the back side here, uh, when I go to grind it now, this will be welded to all this, so when I, I'll have more meat there to grind. So what I'm going to do later on then, I can just go ahead and just uh, drill this out and tap it for whatever I want to do. I went ahead then and marked out all the spot wells, drilled them out, punched them out, got this all ready to go. So this is ready to install on it now. What I'm going to do first now is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to paint all that in there and uh, inside that panel as well and get that ready and uh, I'm going to go ahead then and weld that panel in. All up through here and over here and even down through here. I never cut that or nothing like that. That's just overlap there because we're on a rolled edge. I can actually grind it and make a flush, right? So I'm going to go ahead now and clean that up. And there it is, all grinded up. Right? Flows in up across the top here into the original top piece. Spot welded down along there. Looks like an overlap panel coming in around here. And it's all welded up through here and all grinded up smooth. Nice round edges on it all. Looks like a finished type piece. Got the reinforcement plate in behind it so I can drill and tap it later on. All these edges here, now someone might be questioning some of these edges. How strong are they? Um, I'm after re welding these. Usually when I weld edges, I'll put some heat and everything into them. So when I go back to, uh, to grind them and uh, and weld them again if I have missed a spot or whatever. I put a lot of heat in them, I turn the welder up. And if you're gonna blow through, that's when you'll blow through. And no, everything was everything was best kind. So I went ahead, I got this side done, and then I went ahead and I'm on this side and finished this one off. Same thing. Up around the rolled edge, spot welded down through here, factory stall seam panel. Put the plate inside here. I repeated the process the same as what I did on the other side and uh like all the seams up around here well it's the same thing again uh one thing is when you figure out how to do something uh one way sometimes you got a tendency to want to try to make it better but when you're doing this type of thing one thing i learned over the years is once you figure something out when you're building it uh repeat the process regardless if you think there's a better way uh because what i've noticed when you try to make things better you actually change it it doesn't it doesn't look the same I went through the same process, I repeated the same steps, like I started from welding up sections, grinding, finishing it, and the way I rolled and fold, fold this, like I didn't turn around roll this first and then fold this after, I did the same thing, I cut the piece out, I trimmed it up, I put two clicos on it, I, I marked it off here, folded it over, I trimmed it off, right? and the only thing I done on this side here is instead of cutting straight across like I did on the last time, is I cut it a bit high, so I didn't have to put a piece on the top side. And that was just for the simple fact that I knew I was going to have to do it over here. But, uh, yeah, I've run into that over the years when you turn around and you build something. And when you go to do the second one, you say, well, if I done it this way, this will look better. And then when I looked at them, both of them did not look the same, right? So I've learned to just repeat the process and don't overthink it. But anyway, that's another section. I'm going to leave this one here because uh, it's getting pretty long here now. So now I got a spot for the firewall to mount to. I got a spot for the fender brace to mount to. All this is finished off. Looking good. It's a lot better to do all this now before uh, I get all the frame and everything because all this is going to be in the way. But I want to tackle all this up here next. I got a hole here to deal with. I know this is weak in this corner. So up here is going to be done. Uh, this section here, here, I got a hole. Of course, them grates. I'm going to weld them over. And over here is the worst of it. I got this section over here and this whole corner is gone. So next video is going to be all about that. But anyway, that's it for this one. I hope the tips were good. And until next time. <laughs>